Hello everyone. So let me come to the last topic of the course, which is ASAP methodology. Now this process is named ASAP methodology by the SAP company itself to divide the entire implementation process between multiple phases. So actually five phases to be exact. I'm not talking, we're not talking here about the installation process. We're talking about the steps that need to be carried out by the consulting company before installation can be carried out. So there are five phases, like I said, project preparation phase, blueprint phase, realization phase, funding preparation, and go live and initial support phase. Now the first phase, which is project preparation phase is where the consulting company is going to talk to the client to understand the requirement in terms of which components the client wants to activate, install and activate, in which locations, how many locations of the company they want to activate it at, in, at the same time, all at the same time, or in phases, and if it is in phases, which locations have to be activated first, which second. So all these requirements will be gathered along with the basic information about the client business process will be gathered in the project preparation phase. So after this starts the blueprint phase wherein the based on the business activities which have been identified by the client or uh, for the client by the consulting company. The data which is gathered here for all the processes will be taken together and as this document is created indicating what is the process as it is carried out, how is the process carried out right now without SAP in the client company, how the process will be carried out or what are the element codes, how each of those elements will be identified after SAP is installed. And to go from here, from this point to this point, what needs to be done or what is the gap will be identified in the gap analysis. So for each implementation, each time for an implementation project or a roller project, as is document, to be document and gap analysis document are mandatory for the client to understand what is the process they are carrying out right now and how each of the elements are identified, how they are going to be identified in the SAP system and what will the consulting company do to ensure that they elements are used in properly in the SAP system. So once the these documents are created, prepared by the senior consultants, they will be sent to the client, based on which a blueprint document will be created. Blueprint is similar to a roadmap specifying the various configuration items, the programming items which need to be carried out or which need to be configured, customized, executed in the application so that the application can be modified as per the client business process, right? So this blueprint, they prepare it after the client goes through the as is to be and gap analysis document and gives a go ahead. The initial blueprint document will be created specifying exactly what will be the various types of configuration and programming changes which will be carried out. Based on the initial blueprint and the gap analysis documents, if the client wants to suggest, make some changes or make some suggestions, after that, a final blueprint document will be prepared and sent to the client for sign off. One very important thing to remember here is once the blueprint document is signed off, under no circumstance can the blueprint be modified. However, if the client process changes at any time before the installation, the client goes live, that is, and then starts using the SAP application, the nearest existing document will be completely stricken off and a new document will be prepared, incorporating the changes the client requires, even if it is a minor change, even if it is a change in the business process, whatever it is, the signed off blueprint document can never be changed. So once the blueprint document is signed off, the blueprint document phase is completed, then we move on to the realization phase. Realization phase is where the consultants start customizing the application in the development server, including all the configuration activity and programming activity for all the components the client wants to activate in the first phase or 
in the single phase. So all types of configurations, testing, and the various related activities, corrections, the, the uses of the development and testing servers will be carried out here. So during the testing phase, if it is required to get the client data, the sample data or old data, it will also be brought and tested. All types of programming changes, programming testings will also be carried out. End user manuals will be prepared. The project documentation will be prepared. So all sorts of documentation will also be carried out here. The realization phase is going to end once the testing team says that all the, the entire application is configured, customized as per the client business process. So once that is done, we reach the final preparation phase. Now during the realization phase, another very important activity which will be carried out will be to gather the legacy data. So legacy data refers to the set of data which the client currently has for carrying out the business activities and which need to be uploaded into the SAP system, the software application so that activities can be continued in the SAP system from wherever they are right now. So this will be carried out in two phases. All the older data will be gathered first, uploaded into the system. And during the final preparation phase, the current running data, the day-to-day -day data will be gathered day by day and uh, will be added to the existing data. Now the final preparation phase also involves installation of the application in the production server, creation of the usernames, passwords, and their uh, permissions, their restrictions, their, everything will be carried out in the final preparation phase. This phase will end with the start of the go live phase. Now go live is not a phase, it is the date on which the client will start using the SAP system. Now during the final preparation phase, another uh, slightly less used, but also a common activity would be the end user training. If the client requires the implementation company, the consulting company can also provide end user training to ensure the users understand how to carry out activities in the SAP system that they have been doing manually so far. Go live is the date on which the client starts using SAP for carrying out all the business activities. So before that date, the Consulting company has to ensure that everything is made ready. So in the final preparation phase, the basis team, that is your systems, networking engineers, consultants will ensure that all the connections, all the systems which are going to be connected to the SAP server are properly running. They have the sufficient technology, they have the sufficient configuration to ensure SAP runs smoothly in them. The initial support phase, the consulting company, the implementation team is going to stay with the client for at least five to seven days after the go live date to ensure that there are no initial issues. So this is what the ASAP methodology is all about. Most of the companies that carry out implementation rollout projects, they use this process to carry out the activities divided into different phases. ASAP here stands for Accelerated SAP Methodology. It does not stand for as soon as possible, right? So this is the end of your course, the last topic. And you have a wonderful future. I wish you the best.